Welcome to another episode of Eric White Whiskey Studies, and in this video, I'm going to do a review of the Glen Farkless 12-year-old Highland Single Malt Scotch Whiskey. But before I get into this, I'm going to tell you about the profile of Glen Farkless Distillery, their core range, and this whiskey. Glen Farkless Distillery is located in Ballandalloc in the Speyside region of Scotland. Glen Farkless is located in the shadow of Ben Rennes, three miles south of Cardew Distillery. The name Glen Farkless means Valley of the Green Grass in Scots Gaelic. Glen Farkless Distillery was first granted a license in 1836 when it was run by Robert Hay. On the 8th of June, 1865, it was bought by John Grant and it is still owned and run by his descendants. The current owner is J.N.G. Grant. The distillery's water source is Ben Rennes. It has a 16.5 ton semi louder mesh ton. It has 12 stainless steel washbacks with a minimum fermentation time of 60 hours. Glen Farkless has three wash stills at 29,600 liters, three spirit stills at 25,000 liters, which are the largest in Speyside and are heated directly by gas burners with rummagers. Glen Farkless Distillery's cask filling strength is 63.5% alcohol by volume, as is much of Scotland. The Glen Farkless Core Range. Glen Farkless 10 year old Highland Single Malt Scotch Whiskey, Asian X Sherry Cask, is bottled at 40% alcohol by volume. The Glen Farkless 12 year old Highland Single Malt Scotch Whiskey, Asian X Sherry Cask, Bottled at 43% alcohol by volume. The Glen Farkless 15 year old Highland Single Malt Scotch Whiskey, Asian X Sherry Cask, and bottled at 46% alcohol by volume. The Glen Farkless 17 year old Highland Single Malt Scotch Whiskey, Asian X Sherry Cask, bottled at 43% alcohol by volume. The Glen Farkless 21 year old Highland Single Malt Scotch Whiskey, Asian X Sherry Cask, Balded in 43% alcohol by volume. The Glen Farkless 25 year old Highland Single Malt Scotch Whiskey, Asian X Sherry Cask, balled at 43% alcohol by volume. The Glen Farkless 30 year old Highland Single Malt Scotch Whiskey, Asian X Sherry Cask, balled at 43% alcohol by volume. Glen Farkless 40 year old. Highland Single Malt Scotch Whiskey, Asian X Sherry Cask, bottled at 43% alcohol by volume. And one of my favorites, the Glen Farkless 105 Highland Single Malt Scotch Whiskey, Asian X Sherry Cask, it's non chill filtered, natural color, and is bottled at 60% alcohol by volume. So recently I was flying on United Airlines. I believe I was coming back from Southern California and uh, they had available uh, a whiskeys. They had a bourbon and a scotch. They didn't say what scotch it was, but I ordered one. And what I got was a little bottle of the Glen Farkless 12 year old Highland Single Malt Scotch Whiskey, which I was really, really happy about. But I'm not kidding. They served it with a paper cup. I'm like, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? So from now on in my carry on, I'm going to be carrying with me a uh, Glen Cairn, <laughs> so at least you can have a decent glass to go with it. But I, I thought it was awesome that <laughs> Glen Farkless is being served on uh, an airline. Usually I get a bourbon, sometimes a Woodford Reserve, sometimes I got Jack Daniels or whatever, but uh, seeing Glen Farkless 12 on uh, United Airlines uh, made me happy. Alrighty, so Glen Farkless has a very distinctive uh, profile, very distinctive characteristic, uh, and it's in that they have or they use um, direct fire with their stills. Most distilleries are using a steam or some other heating source because by having direct fire, there is a potential for scorching the spirit inside of the still. Springbank also uses a, a direct fire. So they need something within the 
uh, still to be moving around to keep it from sticking the spirit to be from sticking to the side of the still and car causing a scorching character. But typically, if you um, use direct fire, you're going to get a very distinctive note, particularly if it's either a, a bourbon cask, it'll show up more, or lightly sherried. If it's not a heavy duty sherry cask, a heavy duty sherry cask like the, the Glen Farkless 105 would cover it up. Um, that funk of uh, spring bank, I think, sort of masses a, a little bit. But on this whiskey, it definitely shows up. And that is, it's almost like a butterscotch note or like a creme brulee note, a slightly toasted sugar note. Get some almonds, caramel, vanilla, like I said, butterscotch, golden raisins, cinnamon, nutmeg, a little bit of clove on the palate. So Glenn Farkless had switched to steam and then they switched back to direct fire because they wanted to maintain that distinctive character of Glenn Farkless. On the palate, I'm getting a little bit more stone fruit, perhaps a little pear, a little bit of apple pie, cinnamon. There is still that, it's a creme brulee, almost like, or almost like a pie crust character, or almost like uh, a butterscotch, it, we're all sort of in there, that sort of toasted character. And I believe that is coming from the direct, direct fire of, of the still. It has a nice little spicy, little spicy tingle to it. It's also a little bit creamy. It has a nice development. You start off with baked apple, apple pie, uh, baked peaches, pears, then you get a little bit of that caramel and get that creme brulee butterscotch character. And then cinnamon, nutmeg, clove, big and spices uh, kick in and it has a, a nice, decent, long finish. Now this is a sherry cast uh, aged whiskey, but it's not your typical sherry cast of figs, dates, raisins. It, I did, do get raisins, but it's more of a, a golden raisin, not uh, the dark black raisin nuts. So, a sherry cask such as a, say Glendronic or a Glen Alecky or a McAllen or you know those or Aberlour and, and you know what I'm talking about if you're familiar with sherry cask whiskeys. It's not the typical sherry cask whiskey. Even color wise, you know, it's golden in color uh, rather than that darker amber character that you get in most sherry cask or sherry cask finish for whiskeys. So I really like this whiskey. You know, it's only at, you know, 43% alcohol by volume, but I think it delivers even at this level. Now I have uh, another bottle from Glen Farkless. This is a 13 year old distillery exclusive 2004. And this is bottled at 57.5% alcohol by volume. I picked this up at the distillery when I uh, visited in 2018. If you were to take the 12 year old and just crank everything up in intensity and flavor, that would give you this whiskey. Of course, it has a, a, a longer finish. It is richer, creamier, more developed, but in terms of the general profile, in terms of the flavors and descriptors I would use, it would be the same, an absolutely fantastic whiskey. If you're ever in Scotland, if you're ever in the area, Glen Farkless is a must visit. I would say it's one of the oldest still family run distilleries if that hasn't been bought out by a, a big conglomerate it's nice to visit a whiskey distillery that has some heritage to it and is still family owned and it's just really nice not nice whiskeys there Glen farkless probably doesn't get the love from the whiskey tubers that it should particularly say the uh Glen farkless 105 which is a 60% alcohol by volume, 
sh uh, heavy sherry bomb. This, in terms of the sherry characteristic, is more of your typical sh sherry character that would be like everything from Bunnahabhain 12, th the intensity of a sherry cask in, in a Highland Park or Aberlour or Glenallachy or any other big sherry cask whiskey uh, you can think of, this fits that. And I think the intensity of the sherry cask from uh, the Glen Farkas 105 masks the direct fire characteristic of these other whiskeys from uh, Glen Farkless because it is so uh, deep and rich that you're not getting that. The more subtle notes of the creme brulee or slightly burnt sugar or butterscotch character uh, from the other whiskeys, but still uh, an underrated whiskey, under 100 bucks that I highly uh, recommend. All right, uh, that's it for this review. If you subscribe to this channel, want like, oh, buy a score wise. Want to give it a score? Uh, I'd give it a solid 88 points. Solid 88 points. All right, that's it for this review. If you subscribe to this channel, well, thank you very much. If you've not yet subscribed, would you like to watch some of my videos? As you subscribe, ring the bell to be notified when I post a new video or go live. And until next time, cheers. Hey, don't forget to subscribe and check out these other whiskey videos.